Hey guys, it's Deb Joyce Meek from Delight of My Art and today we're going to be making three mini cards, three three by three cards that all go together uh, and package together. They're super cute using the Woodward's stamp set, this uh, right here. So this one's so much fun, we're actually even not using the framelit for this one. So here is one of the cards, aren't these cute? And then a matching envelope, we'll stamp on, stamp on the flap. And then the second one looks like this. And then we're going to be making the third one together. So let's get stamping! Okay, so here are the two cards that I already made. And again, these are using the little uh, Whisper White 3x3 envelopes that you can get in the catalog now and then I just stamped on the flap. So we'll be doing that together too. So we'll make the third card. What I'm going to do is use the star from the stamp set here. We've used the rooster and the heart already. I'm going to use the star next in Night of Navy. So we're going to do a 3x3 card which is a 6x3 card folded and then I used the same uh, all of these paper paper stack pieces, let's see, the Wood Textures Designer Series paper stack are all six by six. So if you cut this into four pieces, you're going to have plenty for your three cards here. This is actually just less than three by three. It is two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. So all you got to do is adhere that to the front of the card after you stamp the side flower part. Let's move these out of the way so we don't accidentally stamp on them. The inside I left blank so whoever has these can write their own message on the inside. It's generic enough to be used for pretty much any occasion. So let's go ahead and get our Knight of Navy ink pad open. And then the flower image from the stamp set. I'm going to ink this upside down because it's a large image. A lot of these larger ones you want to ink it up this way instead of the other way. And make sure you have scratch paper underneath because we're going to be stamping off the edge. Okay, put that to the side. See there's one wavy side and one kind of smoother side. I'm going to make sure the wavy side is on the inside about halfway th over. like this. There. That looks nice. It's nice and subtle. Since we have this all inked up, why don't we go ahead and do one of the envelopes too. I have some scratch paper here. Let's see if I can open this. Okay. One envelope. And open the flap up. And I will cover the front of the envelope with a piece of scratch paper. And let's go ahead and ink up our stamp again. Then we'll be done with this image. This time I want the smooth side on the envelope side of the flap and the bumpy side just going off the edges. So this doesn't cover completely, but if you put it close to all the edges, you're not missing too much. Give that a good press. And see, that looks really nice. We'll set that aside to dry. Get rid of our scratch paper and continue on our job here. Can bring these back in. I've got some scrap piece of white and I'll just be stamping the star image in Night of Navy on there. And we're going to be punching that out, not punching, but cutting that out using the big shots and the smallest stitched shapes framelits. Close my Night of Navy ink here. 
doesn't dry out. <clears throat> so I have my smallest circle here and I will go and punch that out in just a second. I also wanted to show you that the lovely uh, white doilies, you can cut just a quarter of one. These come in a pack of 24. This is what I did to make all these. So you, you only need one doily for all of these. So what I'm going to do is take a quarter of one and then just kind of fan the edges. Just kind of fold it back and forth like you're making a tiny little lacy fan. Like that. And then just kind of crunch up the rest of it because that's just going to go behind. So that will go behind the circle that we cut out in just a second. Um, we're also going to need about two and a half inches of this uh, ribbon. It's called burlap ribbon. I love this stuff. It's so rustic and cute. And then a strip of the matching paper that whatever color ink you're using. If this is just half an inch strip and we're going to emboss in white. So I'll go ahead and um, emboss this real quick and then we'll go ahead and cut this out and put it all together. So let's go ahead and get that done. We're going to get our, our Versamark ink, our white embossing powder, and the embossing buddy. We'll just give that a wipe. And we got our Hello Friend stamp here. Stamp in the Versamark. Not too close to the edge because I want to make this little notch over here. And as straight as you can get it. That's not terrible straight. I'm actually going to redo it on the other side. We'll see if I can do a better job. That's a little better. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put some embossing powder on that. This is just one of those trays that they used to sell. You can get them on Amazon now in a different brand. This is just nice to have. Or you can use a paper plate or a piece of folded paper or whatever to put your embossing powder back in your little tin. Okay, so let's go ahead and Put that aside, put the lid on our Versamark, and the lid on the embossing powder so I don't blow it all over the place when I heat set this. And I'll go ahead and fast forward this for you. I'm going to go run this through the Big Shot real quick and I will be right back. Okay, this just popped out of the Big Shot. Set that aside. We'll pop out our little circle. It's so cute. Put that aside. Look at our envelope here. We've got our strip. We've got our little thing here. We're going to need some dimensionals. We're going to need some tear and tape and we're going to need our little burlap ribbon here too. Okay and our card. Our card front and our card base. Alright, so first of all, let's go ahead and put this wood piece right on the front. Get my snail adhesive out. And I like to have the little flower on the open edge of the card. So we'll line this up. Nice and simple. Put that in the corner there. Here's our envelope. Okay, so here we're going to just, um, I was using Fast Fuse and I, I ran out. So what I'm gonna do is use some of this Tombow liquid glue to put this on. I'm just gonna see which side I want to be the top. I think that side. And then on the left side over here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of liquid glue if it will come out. 
And since this is liquid, it will just take a minute to dry. We'll just hold it in place. These doilies do have a front and a back, so make sure you're doing it with the front facing front. And I want this nice and crunched up over here. I'm just going to hold that in place for a second. About the same distance off as this one. So they look similar. Now my fingers glue into the back. Okay. Okay. So on the back you have some room. I'm going to go ahead and put a dimensional on the top and the bottom. Not um, on top of this lump of doily that we folded right there. Now my fingers are so sticky. I know lots of people really love their liquid glue and that's mainly what they use and then some people really prefer to use the runners like the fast fuse and the snail. So what are your thoughts? What is your favorite? I do feel like the Tombow liquid glue it does hold really well. It's very versatile and it's pretty cheap too. Uh, inexpensive rather. But um, I don't like getting my fingers all sticky, <laughs> so I do prefer the tape runner myself. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this on right away. Take the backing off and stick it right in the center of the card. That way that's already lined up right in the center and we can sneak the other ribbons underneath it as needed because it's on dimensionals. Oh, my fingers are so sticky, guys. I don't like it. Okay. It's worth it. It's worth it because it's so cute. Hee hee hee, it's so cute. Okay, here's our other cards. That's a reference. Aren't they cute? I love this. Okay, so the ribbon here, the burlap ribbon, we're going to stick over here. It's kind of sticking off the side like this. And I'm just going to hold it where I want it and then trim right up against the wood part here. And I'm going to put this tear and tape on the back of that. Again, you can use fast fuse, but I ran out and this works just fine. This tear and tape is really nice too. Actually, the fast fuse with this ribbon um, sometimes will shift each of these lines in different ways because you are pushing on, you know, when you're putting pressure on it to get the glue off. So this tear and tape actually might be ideal for ribbons and stuff, especially this one. Okay, give it a good press, otherwise you're just gonna take it right off again. Okay, here we go, backing off. Okay, so here's our curved side here. I'm just gonna come down underneath all that stuff. I'm gonna push down on this side first so it's lined up and then try to keep the rest of this straight. Losing my doily. There we go. There. And now we can go ahead and notch the end here. I left myself a little bit more room than I needed to, so I'm just going to trim off a little bit here. And then cut a center line and cut from corner to the line I just made. That way I know my v-notch is centered on this little strip. That looks good. And let's go ahead and place that about where we would want it. It's actually up a little bit on the, on the top and then centered as it gets to the right side. So, actually my dimensional is pretty low on this one. I'm going to put it about there. Got my angle right. Get rid of this little notch piece I cut off. My fingers are still sticky. <laughs> this is driving me crazy. Okay, so I'm going to put I'm going to put some of this tear and tape on the back of this too because I really want it to stick to this and this is a textured surface. We want to make sure this doesn't fall off. Snail, I don't think, would cut it on that one. I 
Okay. If I can get it off. There we go. This way. And again, line up this edge first because that's the one that should be lined up with the edge. There. So now we have our three cute, cute, cute little cards with matching cutie little envelopes. Push all this to the side. Now, we have our three cards and envelopes, but now we want to package them nicely. So this is where I was having a bit of um, trouble figuring out what I wanted to do. So I think I figured it out. You know, I didn't write down what envelope I used. There's clear envelopes in the catalog. I think this is a six by eight. Let me check. Yeah, it's a six by eight envelope. It's just a clear envelope. And I'm gonna see how this looks in here. So let's go ahead and put all these together. I'm gonna do the navy in the front, then the red, and then we're gonna turn this one around so that you can see it from both sides. That's cute. I'm gonna fold that over so it takes up let's get rid of this. so it takes up the center of the envelope there and let's fold it right here maybe a little bit further down I'm just playing I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> isn't that what we all do let's take a full doily and fold it over the top I have this um, delightful Daisy card pack um, from the designer series paper and I punched it out with the starburst punch this punch right here and let's see how this looks that's cute maybe we can put a little burlap ribbon here and I'm just gonna clip this with a little clip I think that looks nice. So let me know what you guys think. This little clip actually I got um, from Target. It's not it's not a Stampin' Up! thing. They don't have silver clips. They've got a bunch of or two two different kinds of gold clips. But I didn't feel like gold uh, went with this rustic look. If there were copper ones, that would be super cool. But I didn't find them. Anyway, I found this at Target. I'm not sure how much it was, but. It was pretty inexpensive. Anyway, there's our little card pack. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Please leave a comment because you know I love that. And I would super awesome appreciate any uh, orders that you guys want to place. You know what? Fast Fuse, speaking of Fast Fuse, um, there's a special right now going on for Fast Fuse. If you buy one Fast Fuse cartridge, you get two refills for free. So that's $25 worth of Fast Fuse for the price of $10. So it's a super good deal right now. Um, there's other things that are on sale, a bunch of stamp sets, and then there's designer series paper that's on sale. Buy three, get one free. Buy three of the cheaper ones and pick the most expensive one for free. Whatever you'd like, um, you can pick which one you want for free. So pick the more expensive one. <laughs> and there's also... Um, yeah, some stamp sets that are 15% off, the note cards, the vanilla, very vanilla, and the whisper white note cards and matching envelopes are 15% off right now too, and those are already really inexpensive. $6 is the regular price for those, and um, so that makes it, what, five, ten, or something uh, for 20, 20 cards and envelopes. They're just slightly smaller than your regular size card. And there's still plenty of room for decorating, and those are super economical. Anyway, <laughs> check out my website, um, delightofmyart.com, for more information about those things, or my Facebook page, Delight of My Art. And um, have a great day, guys. Love you guys. Bye.